Okay, Hiago Jorge got a pass, like long step. Let's just start with understanding the structure of his positioning. Basically, he likes to make that position. That is like a stop in the De La Hiva. Like in De La Hiva like this, they're stepping over the near side hip, they're unlocking De La Hiva. I call this position as in solid pace. This is a very dominant position. Once it's in this position, like the opponent cannot play the guard properly. Then in this position to reinforce it, usually he likes to pinch his knees like this. Then he even wants to maintain his posture. He doesn't go forward that much. But against this movement, opponent, his opponent definitely wants to reach the color near side, far side like this. So for this action, Hiago Jorge always maintain an upper body free. It's like kind of grip very strictly like this, not to get control, as he likes to stay like upright face like this. Always like this. So this is the position he likes to set up, like the solid face position with upper body free. Then once he finds a chance, he shifts to the offensive guard pass, which is the cross face, like long step pass. But what he does is like slightly different to the other players, like the Atos, LJ. Like generally speaking, most of long pass, people like to fall on the mat right after make the cross face, like this, so here in this position, like make the cross face, fall on the mat, switch the hips, then complete the guard pass. But on the other hand, what Hiago Joji likes to do is more dynamics action. So as soon as he makes the upper body free control, find a space between Hiago Joji and his opponent, he makes the cross face directly from this position. As you do the head pat, that's gonna be really quick and tight. Like this. Then next thing, what is gonna be the hardest part? It's like switching hips in the air before he hips, his hips land on the mat. So at this position, clap, and switch it like this. So this is what he likes to do. But as you can see, he's like really committed to the pan script on this side as well. This is like a keeping the opponent's leg away, not to allow like pan your leg or like her locked legs as a figure fall. So what has happened? Yeah, Jose is like a very dominant position. It's like to pass the guard. It's gonna be pretty simple. It's like keep the head really tight on opponent's chest like this, change the base, then stabilize the position. Okay, one more time. So his base is very unique and strong position, like pinch the knees, squatting down, the upper body free, like applied base. Whenever he gets control of his color, he cut it like this. Yeah, I attached the link below that Hiro Joji did it against uh, Tigal Barros in a sparring. You can see that, like right after Hiro Joji cut the grip like this, to keep the hand away. Then when he finds a space, he dab into it. Then the cross face, I already showed in the other video, there's been so many ways to back, grab back of the neck, or the far side armpit, or somewhere else. It seems like Hiro Joji likes to grab under the armpit on the far side. Like connecting the cross face with the head. The next one, like I, like I showed you, maybe the hardest part in this technique. Before you fall on the mat, you want to be able to twist hips in the air. It's more like doing a sprawling on the hair. Yeah, as you can see, I push his leg away. That's going to be another advantage in order for me to gather pass. As I do so, it's going to be a little easier to keep the opponent flat on the mat. So from this position, it's pretty simple. Just change the base to complete the guard pass. Basically, Hiago Joyce is a girl playing any type of guard pass. Knee cut, smash, leg track, cross face, long step, aim, step passes. But it seems like he likes to do inside pressure pass a lot, like a long step. Or another idea is the Cross grip pass. It's like making a diagonal side of grip on opponent's leg to make a control. Usually, when a time he's not available to reach the opponent's neck for the long step pass, like for the cross face, he shifts to this technique. Then most of the situation, opponent wants to keep his knee really tight like this, or he may even play kind of knee shield position. So this is gonna be a really good case for the cross grip pass. Today, let's just start from De La Hiva like this, the opponent pinches his knee so tight, like this kind of situation. 
since it doesn't like into the knee cut or some kind of inside pass. So you can see the space behind the knee. So here go, Georgie, reach the pants on this side. Simply grab the pants like this, like grabbing a slip with a monkey grip. So this is gonna be a very strong axis for the next action. So in this technique, it's not necessary to make the proper cross face. You just wanna grab the car on this side. And then, as if you're doing a sprawl with a tripod base, like putting a head on the mat. It's gonna be a battle against the frame, but there's been already dominant grips on the pants and the collar. So it's kind of great things to do. So here, definitely your opponent is gonna push it away, but it's okay. Look, as long as I grab the pants, with this trap, you know, like behind the leg like this, this is gonna be really annoying for him to escape. He cannot put his leg out on the bottom. He cannot even put his leg out. So what it's gonna be is like this, like sliding out, like a knee cut. Even this time, it's gonna be a great way to open the opponent's frame. Look, I pull a collar, push your leg. It's like opening his body. So from this position, there's gonna be a lot of options. The simplest way is like making opponent flat. It's not better to make the long step. So in this case, like this, just find a space like this. Even this could be possible to do from lasso as well. Somehow, like he finds a situation to make the cross grip pants from behind the leg like this. This. Then drive the head forward. Then as we drag an opponent to the side, like this is very strong. Like this, it's okay against the frame. Just side out. After side out, stay as the opponent. Is making flat on the mat. Okay, let's see the whole sequence from the beginning. Like he wants to make the dominant position, like stepping over the leg, push the la heaver like this, like controlling the leg with like this. Then when he get control upper body, so he really strict the grip fight like this. He doesn't like to compromise like push it away all the time. Then when it's available, he simply switch to the long step, like holding the neck, push the leg away, switching hips in the air. Long step action. Another idea, sometimes it's not available to reach the neck as we make the frame like this. So in this situation, he finds a space behind the knee, like this. It's not a difficult grip in this situation, just make it, then cut a grip. Another thing, you need to get your opponent sideways slightly. Like making tripod pace. Then drive the way forward to complete the guard pass. Hey guys, my name is Daniel. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please push the like button and leave us a comment down below. If you want to learn more techniques, simply hit the subscribe button and click the bell to be notified when we upload a new video. This way we can bring you new and improved content. Thank you, see you next time.